How do you communicate through discomfort? Chapter five is titled Communicating with Empathy. And it is one of my favorite chapters, probably one of the ones that it took me a little more time to write, but there's so many great frameworks in this chapter to really help us navigate tough conversations. And when we think about what makes hard or difficult conversations, hard or difficult, three things really come to mind. One, emotions. So usually the, the conversation is hard because it is also emotional timing because of those emotions oftentimes we delay the conversation and then we're in this tug of war of it's been two weeks two months two years is it even worth having the conversation at this point point? and then the last thing is capability i don't even know how to begin the conversation or what to say and so i want to share with you one of the frameworks that i share in this chapter called getting a clue to prioritize connection in communication. The A4 clue is around awareness. And it's one of the things that becomes really critical. I'm just going to read right from chapter five. It says one way to build connection through communication is to prioritize learning more about the person that we're speaking with and gaining more awareness of the topic instead of focusing only on the content that we want to share, ensuring that we focus on our self and social awareness to manage our relationship through the conversation. That's the A of a clue. The C is around clarity. So seeking clarity on the other person's thoughts and feelings. Sounds familiar? That's empathy, right? This helps us to increase connection with the person that we're speaking with. The L is around listening. It's such a skill. Are we listening in the conversation more than we're speaking? One way to do that, especially as leaders, is to ask questions right? Great leaders aren't just telling you what to do, but they're asking questions so that they can better understand you so that if they do give a solution, they can give one that's in alignment with what you need. The U of getting a clue is around understanding. So it says, if we prioritize connection in our communication, listening to what's being said and what's not being said helps us to understand the person better. And then last but not least, all of this helps us to empathize. The more we seek to understand others, the more seamless it is to empathize. Empathy requires us to decenter our thoughts and feelings, to step into the thoughts, feelings, and experiences of someone else. We'll talk more about the mechanics of empathy conversations in just a moment. Or if you've ordered your copy of Thrive Through It, make sure you check out the Thrive Through It toolkit, which includes a mini course on empathy conversations. Head over to BrittanyNCole.com, click on the shopping tab to order your copy.